Hello, this is Mr. Gale, and I'm going to look at APR, working out what that is when your loan has got a single repayment at the end. Here's my example. Andy and Mark are going to take out a loan to build an extension on their house. The loan is for 22000 and they'll borrow the money for two years. And there's a single repayment at the end of the loan for £26,200. What was the APR rate for this loan? OK. Well, let's see. So the amount of the loan uh, was 22,000. M is the number of repayments. Well, there's only one repayment. I is the APR expressed as a decimal, and that's the thing we don't know. The amount of the kth repayment, well, there's only one repayment, and we know what it was. It was 26,200. And then T is, at the time of that first repayment, how long has it been since the start of the loan? And in this question, the repayment was made after two years. So T is two. You need to get used to that M is how many repayments there are. And T is how long has it been since the start of the loan? It's not necessarily the same as what M is. All right, well, there's only one fraction because there's only one repayment. So going from K equals the first repayment up to how many repayments there are was well, from one to one. There's only one thing there. If you substitute all those things in, C is 22,000. The repayment is 26,200 over one plus the interest rate to the power of the time since it was since the start of the loan, so two. So we actually know all of those things. All we need is to just rearrange it to get that I by itself. But it's a pretty complicated one. Um, if you weren't too hot on your algebra at GCSE, this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but I'll take you through it and you should be okay. There's not that many variations on this, so let's have a look. Well, first up, we do not want that i, the, the thing we're looking for. We don't want that in this denominator. That's going to be really tricky. So we'll multiply through by the denominator. So all of them there is multiply the left-hand side by 1 plus i squared. I've also multiplied the right-hand side by 1 plus i squared, but 26,200 divided by something and then times by that something, they're going to cancel out. So it just becomes 26,200. Next, I want to ultimately get this i by itself. So it's 1 plus i squared, because that's in brackets and then index, and then it's going to be multiplied by 22,000. So undo that multiplied by 22,000 is divide by 22,000. 26,200 divided by 22,000. Well, i am just use my calculator for that. If you type 26,200 over 22,000 using your calculator's fraction button and press equals, it simplifies it for you. Remember, everything in core maths is a calculator question. So 131 over 110, apparently. Right, next up is to undo that squared. Yep, I would also, good reminder, um, well done me. <laughs> Leave it as a fraction. If you put it into decimals, it's probably going to be some horrible decimal number. Right, undoing that squaring then. Well, square rooting undoes that. So it's the square root of 131 over 110. Nearly there now. 1 plus i is whatever that comes out as. I know that looks awkward, but it is just a number. So 1 plus i is that. I just don't want that 1 there. So we can take away that 1. Gives you that. And then you just type it in. 0.091278 dot, dot, dot. There were more things there. So as a uh, percentage, 0.0. 91287 is 9.13%. And I think two decimal places seems reasonable here. Here are some questions for you then. So this one is very similar, just two years, uh, 22,000 again, different final payment. This one, similar sort of stuff, but over three years instead. 500 pounds, so a smaller loan that time. Slightly bigger loan, but for lots of years. And then this one here, I mean, this wouldn't happen. Nobody would lend you £180,000 for 30 years and then not ask for any of it back until the end. That's not realistic, but it's interesting to see what sort of APR rate that works out as. Right, next slide's got the answers. So you want to pause this and go and do those questions and then come back to it when you're ready. And here they are. Right, thanks for watching.